Inspired by you, during one of our recent stitch-alongs, we've been working away in the background to develop a new and exciting class for our intermediate embroiderers. When asked what you would like to see more of from us in the future, several of our community asked for more beading classes. I'd also like to know, like, what would you like to see from us next? Uh, my recall, I would be interested in some beadwork classes too. I feel like we definitely could expand on our beading. This got us thinking hard about what we could bring you next that would fulfil this criteria and offer something new to the school that we've not shown before. This is where the Coral Beading online class started to come to life. We started to try out different ways of using beads and sequins in the most creative 3D ways we could think of. Some of these use small elements like seed and bugle beads, which make for very dense detailed areas. Others harness bigger pieces, like ribbon coral or tusk sequin pea pods, which make for striking areas of faster coverage. During the initial sampling process, we tried out more than 30 ways of using sequins, beads, ribbon and embroidery floss. From this we selected only the strongest 20 and then set about to bring them all together into one coherent piece. With a rough idea of what it should look like in mind, we set out to draw the design to get a feel for the final sample and how to break down the areas for each technique in the draft. Then comes the best bit, stitching it out and seeing how it really looks. This is just the initial sample to assess whether it's viable and to make copious notes which will go on to inform the class plan when we come to filming the actual class. It's incredibly rare for the initial sample to be perfect and to go straight on to becoming the class, so we make some amendments to the draft and materials where we think they can be improved. With the final draft off to the printers, it's time to start making up the bead packs, ready to stitch out the final piece during the class filming, and of course, share it with all of you. If you're feeling inspired to make your own beaded coral piece, do check out our online class and accompanying kit available on the London Embroidery School website exclusively to make your own. If you've enjoyed this insider's look at developing a textile sample and class, you might like to subscribe to the channel and enjoy our other sneak peeks which we have available in our YouTube playlist, which you will find in the card above and description below. 
Let us know in the comments what you'd like to know about next, or if you have any class ideas of your own you would like us to work on for you.